Ashmoney's legacy as cultural changers that change the cultural landscape. And one shot right over here. In hip hop and Thank you. rock and aesthetic. Oh, that's right. Too much. Too much. Too much. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Listen, I'm a comedian, but this is not a moment for me to truly be funny. I'm here because I was asked by a phenomenal gentleman, baby, hit me up and said, TK, could you host my event? And me being so busy and successful, I said, nah, I don't, don't want to do it, dog. You know, so he convinced me and we're here. So give yourself for being at the hottest establishment in yeah. Los Angeles this weekend. Come on, give yourself a round of applause. precious time to honor these great people and all the talent, all the work, all the artists, all the songwriters, everybody that's worked on behalf of your company and everybody in this room. Thank you for being here. Bravo. Hey, uh for real, for real, uh, um, me and my brother, the way we grew up, like, we grew up in the boys' home, back and forth to Canada, living in every project in New Orleans. Life 
wasn't easy for us, especially for me, because I was the youngest of all my, of my siblings. So um, uh, I was confused. I had to find a way. And um, I met four young niggas, four young kids, right? One was 11, one was 12. Julie always was sharp. Uh, I had a daughter named Nicole Shaw, and she rest in peace. And my little nephew Derek, me, he rest in peace. Um, the mother two youngsters was BG and the one. Fresh all in the time. That's what you do. And just want to you know, I just was trying to, because I was a, like, a real lost youngster, like trying to find a way. Because I've been in and out of homes, in and out of jail as a kid. Uh, I jumped in the streets at 12 years old. Um, 14 years old, I was wearing two girl lexes, and 13 years old, I had a mouth full of goals with diamonds in them. And I met some youngsters, and I didn't want them to go my route, right? Uh, be <laughs>